Okay, uh, I know everybody's been making their X-Force videos this week and lots of stuff popping up, how they can counter mercs and Asgardians and do all this great stuff and everything. And I was just thinking like, well, you know what? We got Pants the Hulk for this uh, this attack, so I'm obviously, uh, we're not going to win this one. I might as well try some stupid stuff. So I got my uh, X-Force team ready to go for some attacks. Well, sort of ready. I mean, it's still I'm still going to work on them a bit. Uh, I only have one T4 on them, <laughs> so uh, they got a little ways to go. Um, but I figured I'd try. Can they punch up 195,000 power on defenders? And I, I don't know. I was thinking this, this, this could be a little dicey. Who knows? Um, I don't know if they can, but I want to find out because. I figure it might as well be worth a shot. I mean, it's not like we're going to win this war. You might as well have some fun, right? So uh, my first thoughts here were like, well, Negasonic's alt, it'll remove uh, defense up on war offense, right? So that's pretty useful, right? Now I was thinking, well, you know, I probably don't want to use it until after Luke Cage goes because, you know, I probably want to remove those defense ups when they're out there. So I just do a basic on her, you know, on iron fists and it does 60k damage then domino follows up with her alt and uh, she puts disrupt on him and hits a few other people for about 50k damage and then uh, x23 goes and hits for about 48,000 damage and then applies ability block <laughs> and then deadpool goes and uh, he's got offense up, and they, they're they just annihilating this Iron Fist before they even get a turn. The only turn that they've had so far is a retaliation by Punisher. So uh, now it's Cable's turn. So the entire X-Force team goes before any of the defenders even get a turn. Um, that's pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> uh, so now I'm like, well, you know, I might as well use the special since he's charged and uh, just, like, slow him down, right? Because, I mean... You know, it'll just slow their speed a little bit. We'll focus down Punisher and avoid the retaliation from from Punisher if we were to hit Deadpool with that. But uh, X23 is a beast, and so she was just like, uh-uh, I gotta, I gotta get this dead or this Daredevil down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Luke still hasn't taken a turn, um, so we do a Negasonic attack in the middle there, and finally we have some defense ups to remove. Uh, so we have another AOE attack. So I choose the middle target there. Uh, Deadpool does his special to remove Punisher pretty easily here. We got five on two to clean up. And, uh, yeah, so this is uh, pretty pathetic on the defender's part, but I think we already knew kind of their place. I mean, there's like, there's like you know, Ravagers, then Hand, then Defenders as far as the uh, the bottom of the, the uh, Marvel Strike Force metas go. <laughs> so uh, right here, I'm just trying to take down this 130k Luke Cage or whatever, no, 126k Luke Cage, and he can actually take a beating. The problem is he just doesn't start with taunt, so nobody bothers to attack him. So, uh, you know, he's he's not a threat. There's really no problems here. Uh, but it is kind of funny watching how many attacks it takes to get him down, and he just he just doesn't get really get get many turns. Like he's he's gotten like two turns the entire fight so far. And so here it is, Cable taking the alt to finish him off and, and blast him. And uh, yeah, that was a, a fairly easy and painless nearly 200k punch up on defenders with them. Um, granted, I'm not going to get to do that very much because I'm going to keep building them. And of course, defenders teams aren't going to be that large. So uh, trying to punch up 200k is not going to be an option most of the time unless we're playing on godly defenses. Um, which only happens occasionally. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, 245k uh, X-Force beating at 439k defenders. Just absolutely ran them out of the gym. They didn't. They barely killed anything. They, they just hurt Domino quite a bit. But, you know, she, she, she can evade, so she's good. So I've been having some fun with these guys. I think they're they're kind of fun. Uh, another thing I wanted to test, and, and this isn't the best test, but what I did want to try, or at least point out, is uh, X-Force versus Coulson. Now, I did throw Ultron on this team, and that kind of makes it lopsided, of course, because I was like, well, I can't waste an attack because this wasn't like a, a an easy war or anything, or it wasn't like a, uh, you know, we're, we're going to win, so or we're going to lose either way. Like, this is a competitive war, somewhat competitive. And I was like, well, I want to win it, but I want to try these guys too and see what they can do. This is before X-23 drops, so this is from last week. 
And so I threw Ultron in. But uh, even in this fight, um, you can see here right at the beginning. So normally we would see speed up on Coulson, make him go before everybody else. You know, he would hit the highest damage person, throw defense down on them. Ha everybody just barrages them and the whole Fury team gets a turn before you get to go. Well, of course, in, uh, you know, the way that teams are being built these days, it's just a faster team wins, right? Or they just get all these attacks off, kill one or two people, and that's, you know, five on three for the rest of the fight, right? Well, um, just to show here, even with only the four X-Force characters, uh, you'll see here, Negasonic gets to go. Um, went ahead and used her ult, which was not advised. You shouldn't do that because they all have immunity. <laughs> so the heal blocks aren't going to land. And there's no defense ups to the roof. So you probably want to save that for turn two. Uh, Domino gets to go. I used her ult because why not? Um, that was stupid. <laughs> because he had immunity. Um... But in any case, just trying to do damage and get them down, especially with Domino's all chaining, um, you know, uh, we got we got some of them a little bit lower. We've got the heal block on Medic, though, which is really important. And we've got Charged Cable with Offense up to attack right in the middle here and remove all the, that turn meter from these guys. And you can see, look how low they are. And this is a punch across, but... Ultron hasn't even taken a turn here. Ultron's just sitting there watching. So, I mean, honestly, if Ultron weren't even there, we just had, the, like, X-23. X-23 would have done her all and probably wiped somebody off the board already, right? So, I wanted to show this. Obviously, this is not a very good fight for Alliance War purposes. You shouldn't use Xtron, or you shouldn't use, I guess it would be Xtron, but Xtron's X-Men plus X Ultron. So, now it's x Fortron? I don't know. I guess if you wanted to use that, you could, but it's not a great idea, obviously. She used the whole X-Force team, because Ultron can make a team like AIM really, really good um, with their, their, their uh, group synergy plus him on the side, you know, throwing out buffs and, and uh, bots and everything. So, this was a simple punch across that was just too... Uh, it was fair, relatively easy. Um, but I did want to show the reason why is just the turn order, right? So the turn order of this X-Force team is legit. Um, if we switch back over here and go to um, the game, like this is legitimately one of the best teams on attack right now is X-Force. Um, there are so many things that are great about them. And one of them is just the turn meter buffs like obviously i need to upgrade this for x23 uh, when she gets you know turn meter based on the enemies going low health well um you know anybody that uses summons and minions those guys are going to be very susceptible to getting lower health so they're gonna she's gonna get a ton of turn meter because um, it's just when an enemy drops not not a non-summoned enemy or anything like that um, so she's just going to keep annihilating people. She does so much damage. Uh, her and Negasonic, to me, are the two MVPs of this team. Honestly, Deadpool, Cable, like, they're they're okay. They, you know, Deadpool has his purpose of being the highest attack power guy to take some attacks for, like, a Coulson. Um, but, you know, honestly, it's, it's Negasonic, X-23, and uh, doing most of the work. And then Cable helps out with some turn meter manipulation of the barriers. Um... Domino helps out with the evades and everything, but man, these two are just just killing it. So I did upgrade Negasonic's um, passive. I think that's probably the most important, just because you know on spawn give it gives you more speed bar for each X Force ally, and uh, using that means that you get to go before so many other uh, defense teams that you'll get a few turns before they even get to react, which is crazy good. Um, speed bar in a game like this, that's turn based combat, is always going to be king. So the X Force is very very fast and that's that's what makes them so good um i do think that you know there are other things that are important like i haven't done i haven't really invested enough in these guys yet i'm still working on them i'm kind of slow playing until those symbiote milestones come back so you know just waiting to uh spend a lot of gold to, uh when, when i can really put it to use instead of just building up a team for the sake of building it but um you know, with this one, you know, you're getting more crit damage. Um, she gets a better chance to evade, which is awesome. So she'll be a little bit better at uh, avoiding hits and staying alive. So uh, Domino would be really, really good to upgrade her passive. Um, yeah, so I think I think this team is going to be a legit, like, top three to top five uh, war attack team. Um, if not one of the best, I, I mean, it is pretty obvious the the way that they're punching up on on certain teams especially meta 
like really difficult teams like Asgardians and and Mercs uh, in particular. Uh, if they can take those out reliably, that frees up other teams for other things, right? So Brotherhood 2.0 can struggle with Mercs at very high levels, right? Um, so if they can take out the Mercs for Brotherhood, you can move your Brotherhood to taking out, like, say, Captain Marvels or Min Guardian teams, which they're really reliable at doing. Um, so that would make it a lot better. You could even maybe move them to taking out Coulson teams, and then, you know, your X-Men don't have to do Coulson, so your X-Men can move to taking out something else, uh, maybe Black Order, right? Maybe that's where kind of the pieces shuffle around so that you can actually, you know, figure out, like, okay, what are your meta counters, right? You need, you need at least... Uh, eight to ten really good counters for every war and so if you can fill in those slots and have them ready to go um, you know there's not a whole lot of teams that really need to be there and uh, if you build the right ones you could be really really effective with just eight to ten teams so I think X-Force is definitely going to be one of them even at lower levels right mine's only like 200k right now and I feel pretty confident in them so um, I definitely am going to keep testing them in war the only problem is is that they really aren't very good outside of war um, they don't really have any value in arena from what I've seen. They don't have any value in raid from what I've seen other than as maybe a sacrifice team, but I'm, I don't know that they would survive long enough to really be a useful sack. Um, they are truly a offense oriented team and I'm not certain if any of them are going to be like say an invisible woman, right? So like fantastic four is pretty useless in other modes, right? Besides war offense, right? But Invisible Woman, as an individual character, can be excellent in raids. She was good in DD3. Um, she has other uh, options. And, and even in Arena, on attack and defense, prior to Black Order, she was probably one of the top five, seven characters easily. Uh, very common character to have if you have good red stars on her. Um, but, you know, none of these team, none of these characters in this team really shine to me as far as, like where else we would use them I, I haven't really seen anything that stands out to where i'm like oh yeah this character on her own is just gonna kick ass right in arena offense or something x23 might do that but i mean with the current black order meta i don't see any of them breaking into that so it, it's if you don't have black order maybe maybe you can get some use out of her or negasonic one of the two of them but that's about it and and so you're really just building this team for war offense so be aware of that right so if you don't like these teams, like, you know, um, like for instance, Hydra is totally war defense and that's it. Um, and maybe as another blitz squad, um, you know, that's essentially what X-Force is right now, as far as I know. Um, there's not much, much beyond that. So don't invest in them if you're concerned about, you know, only using them three times a week <laughs> and then just as a blitz auto team. Um, you know, it's it, they're good, but... Uh, yeah, unfortunately not very useful elsewhere, but we'll see. Maybe that will change. Maybe something else will come up. I haven't, I haven't seen anything though. But I'll let you know if I do find something. But thanks for watching and take care.